Time for some crazy talk how the redesigned 2023 Honda HRV might soon be the company's only SUV with an MSRP comfortably less than $30,000. That's not big news for car enthusiasts, but buyers not aware of further new 2023 Honda CRVs upmarket movie are in for a surprise. Suddenly, price conscious CRV intenders will be kicking tires on the more affordable HRV which takes on a more important role in our Honda's SUV lineup. Those buyers will have find in the 2023 Honda HRV a refined ride with influences from the excellent Civic as well as from the outgoing HRV the latter not quite in the way we'd like. At our motor trend, we track test cars or even small SUVs like the 2023 Honda HRV so we can establish how each vehicle's performance compares to the competition. And in this Honda's case, it's not a great story. Every new HRV is powered by a 158 horsepower naturally aspirated 2.0 liter i4 good for 138 pounds to feet of torque. Those numbers match the latest Civic which uses the same engine. As you'd expect, the engine sweats less with the front-wheel drive Civic sedan, which is hundreds of pounds lighter than our 2023 HRV XL test SUV with more features and all-wheel drive. OK, so let's compare the new HRV's 9.8 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time to vehicles its own size. A 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross XL EAWD is nearly a half second quicker, 9.3 seconds, while a Subaru Crosstrek with a 2.5 liter engine is a startling 2.0 seconds quicker. As if that isn't enough. The AWD Subaru is also more efficient. Even against the last Gen HRV, the new model comes up short. A 2019 HRV Sport AWD we tested reached 60 miles per hour in 9.6 seconds. Behind the wheel, the HRV feels slow, but you can still execute highway passes as long as you plan them out a bit. That type of compromise used to be a given in this segment. But that's no longer the case. The Kia Seltos, Subaru Crosstrek, and a couple other competitors won't feel quite as slow as the HRV. It's not the end of the world, and it won't be the top priority for most buyers, but it's worth noting. This engine doesn't show much power until it revs past 4000 revolutions per minute, 